ado, let's begin. First off, team. There's a set of one, two, three, four, five, six teams as you can see here. Visitors, that's what you are by default. Employees, if you join the group, you're able to use this team. Maintenance, you can just select this team at any point. Raiders, you can purchase the game pass to be this team. Security, uh, you can join the security group and do a application and try out to get this. And administration, this is staff of the game, like the official administrators and stuff. So that would be Matt Hardy. What we're actually going to do for this tour is we're going to team maintenance, and then we're going to reset our character. If you reset your character manually at any point, once you get reset, you open up this menu. engineering team spawns 
where you can get a dark matter reactor fuel cell without needing to make one. I'll go through how you make one after. And you get fuel canisters here, which I will explain that also later. <laughs> a little bit for some of the elevators but eventually it'll go down here it is Right after 
I get, or after I make a fuel cell, how you overload it, or what the overload does. So now that that's been made over in that monitor, come over to this one, wait for it to dis wait for it to finish, and then you dispense. And then you go over here. And out comes a fuel cell. Now because I have one in my inventory from the other place, I don't really need one here. But, you know, it's there. Well, unfortunately I can't drop it, so I will not be able to show what it does when it overloads. But all it really does is it just does the turn off sequence and can't be used for a minute or two. So moving on. This is the elevator I came from, so we're gonna resume. There's a side waiting room. There's a couple people on the walls. There's offices. These don't have any use other than just role play, I guess. So now you have this. I'll show where that leads in a second. Normal way. Again, a little space so There's a lot of those. And here we are in the next sector. So this is sector C. I believe this is C. Yeah. And by the way, this door. This this was that door I said I'd show after. All it does is over here without needing to go the long way around. Alright, this shows you a little map. Of course, there's WAT at the top. It shows the exit, maintenance, and then pretty much everything's over here.
side room. And then over here. Now we're closer and closer to the reactor itself. Go over here. Tells you the reactor's this way. Use the elevator. And then go to the next floor.
option. So to get to the power from the control room, so you go back down to where we were here, where that's the entrance to the main DMR itself, you go this way, so back into this uh, dark engineering path, and you keep going until you find something named transformers or generators. That on the wall tells you you're going the right way, so we're going down this path. And then we're going up this elevator. Takes a little bit for the elevators, obviously. Now, while we're waiting for this elevator, I would like to know that in order to properly do this tutorial, I Because 
Also, I'm assuming there's there should be timestamps on the video. Otherwise, they're hopefully be in the description. So if you want to see the next section instead of me walking to show you how the reactor looks, you can just skip to the next section.
Blazers online. Dark Matter Reactor Core Startup Sequence completed. Reactor Core online.
Now, now that you are now a master at controlling the reactor, back, and we want to finally prevent this meltdown, this uh, blackout. Right now we're on 
and next sub level three. Our goal is to go down. And I mean down. You want to go as deep as you can physically make. So over right here. We're now on sub level three and a half or something. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. It progressively gets smaller, I believe. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now I would show you like the correct path, but I don't even know it. I just kind of keep walking. Now we're in sub level four. Now if you were all the way at the top, you'd have to go all the way through all the sub levels. So that's why I recommend going where we are right now. You want to drop it down. You can kind of see the warhead slightly. But we're going to go in here. Go through here. Go through. Whoa, that is scary. Go through here. Exactly how you do it. Looks like I'm 
stuck. Okay then. And then let's... You get to go through that door. Now, I can't use that. May I have the reactor there. operations team's so you want attention, to have a radar please? Open it Remember up to stay down. alert and stay energized. Don't Tiredness that. leads to lack of alertness, and lack of alertness leads to the DMR quite literally imploding. And I'd rather not have that. Have a great day. Quick note: that is the only way out of that place. So if you enter this reactor room. And there's no reason to, you're not and you're not a raider, you're you're stuck. So you might want to be careful. We're going to pop over to sector C real quick. This is the warp that leads the closest to the reactor. So I tend to use this to get there quickly. Note, when you reset, you don't get to keep your stuff. So just do that. Here we are at the core. These circulation valves attach to the same thing that was up in the reactor. So, up in the reactor right now, these are changing. Um, they're, they were in the cool section. If these are set to off, coolant is turned off. It's very important to note that this is the only place that these two motors can be toggled. They can't be toggled from the control room. The circulation valves can be toggled from the control room, but not these. So if you're trying, if, if some crazy person decides to start melting down the core, you gotta come down here and manually pop those back open. Now we're gonna go back up to the control room. Actually, we're gonna go up to the control room in the alternate path. The path that I said is slow. Just in case, you know, you don't want to take the engineering shortcut, you want to go the totally legit way. You go through this door. Go through here. Give a little tour. 
for the area around the place that you're going to die at. I, I mean, what? what? A break room, a security room that obviously, security almost. And then if you just feel like, you know, stargazing while waiting for the reactor to be cooled whenever crazy people try to blow which is surprisingly common. Oh, this place is very dark. We'll go through that in a second. So as I was saying, if you want to stargaze, you go here. There's not many stars underground, but I mean, worth a shot. Little random darkness over there. Scary. Only. Wonder if it's gonna let me. Oh, it does. I believe this just leads, yeah, it just leads to a little observation. What the? Observation deck. Or you can slide through here.
land on those lasers though because that will not have the same experience. So here's the elevator. So let's just say I just came out of the elevator now. Attention all facility personnel. This is a friendly reminder that on August 21st, Wednesday night, we will be hosting a movie night to watch the newly released movie, Back to the Future. If you would like to join us, please contact Vanessa Williams at right. Sector A Reception. So, if the reactor is melting down, this is what you have to do. There has to be three people for this. If the code fails or you guys don't enter, people don't enter in time, you have to have one person at each one of these. There's three stations around the DMR. Each are at one of the, they're one of the fuel cells. This is also where you refill the fuel cells. So if you're, if you're just simply refilling the fuel cells, you bring your fuel cell in, you unlock it if it's, our, if it's, if it's locked, take the cell out, put in the new one, and then go throw the old one out wherever you want. Or you're supposed to throw them out in the, the same place that they're made that I showed earlier, but you could also just reset to get rid of the empty fuel cells. Or just keep it in your inventory. Then, someone's gotta go on this one and do the same thing, you gotta go on this one and do the same thing, so usually it takes three people because you can't have more than one empty fuel cell in your inventory at a time. And once all three are in, close it, lock it, control restarts the reactor the same way we, we did it before, and then bam, reactor is online. The reactor is doing the meltdown. All three locks have to be unlocked, and within three seconds of each other, all three fuel rods have to be pulled out at the same exact time. If they're not pulled out within three seconds of each other, there is no further way to shut off the reactor. It's just gonna blow. So now, we're gonna go all the way back to the control room and check on what it's at. If you wanted to see the elevator animation, this is, this is it. Because there's no way to get back without using the elevator. Turns out I'm incredibly blind. There's a button right there. Uh, well, when the reactor starts melting down, the elevator no longer works. So you are gonna have to jump up there if, you know, the elevator is not functioning. Which, it does happen during a meltdown. The reactor, the reactor, like, breaks the elevator. So now we're gonna... Also, during the meltdown, you begin to lose health within this room.
get the fuel cells to begin entering the maintenance mode, turn these two keys, tap the button. Did that work? Attention, DMR has now entered maintenance mode. Attention, the North Matter Reactor Combustion Chamber requires a fuel capsule replacement.
Fuel cell. Three. Lock.
code is ready to be turned off. Maintenance completed. Please restart the dark battery reactor.
what this paper says. I'm sorry, this is Power lasers are less effective as fuel gets lower. That means that right now, they are, the lasers are 10% more efficient than what they should be. Attention, core structural integrity at 50%.
Please note, the temperature must be below 3,000 Kelvin to allow for the combustion stall protocol to oh, begin. Yeah, that's right.
Y'all, you're the part of the story.